So about a year ago, I welded two electric bikes together as an off-road wheelchair of sorts to surprise my then girlfriend, Cambry. And then almost immediately after that, we put our brains together to figure out ways to improve it. And we've come a long way. Now my wife and I have a surprise for you guys. Our whole goal was to make an affordable and capable off-road wheelchair and mass produce them. We'd like to introduce, not a wheelchair, we call it the rig. Let's get started. So we've been through several different versions of this rig over the past year, and now we finally have something we're really excited about. It's hard to define exactly what this is. You know, what do you call a chair with four wheels, off-road capabilities, totally silent, super fast, and a pretty long range? I'm not really sure either, but it's definitely not a wheelchair. So let me tell you a little bit about the rig. It's got the four tires. It's got the single motor with a solid rear axle in the back, so there's traction between both of those tires. And it's actually designed to have weight in the back. We have uh, six different mounting points so that you can put a rack for a wheelchair or coolers for camping, all kinds of stuff back here. The rig is mostly built from bike parts, from the rotors, calipers, hydraulic brake system, the e-bike motor, and the e-bike batteries. The version Cambry's riding right now has two batteries on the back. The batteries on the back determine how far the rig can go. One battery can go anywhere from 10 to 20 miles, depending on how much weight the rig is carrying. With the front bumper off, the rig is exactly 5 feet long and 32 inches wide, meaning that the rig can fit in the back of short bed pickups with a tailgate up and also Jeeps and even Subaru Outbacks. It's a fairly portable system. And being 32 inches wide means it can fit through most doorways. Plus, the bike has the ability to go forward and reverse which is uh, fairly beneficial. <laughs> Thank you. There's some off-road vehicles that are very loud. Ours is not one of those. Since it's totally electric, there's literally no sound coming from the motor, which uh, makes for a more realistic nature experience. It's a more peaceful environment when your off-road device isn't making loud noises. <laughs> Personally, I love my light blue rig. We've put over a thousand miles on it, and it's taking me places I never in a million years thought I could go like on a hike to a waterfall in Hawaii, or up the canyon on packed snow, which are all places I wouldn't be able to go in my normal wheelchair. We've taken the rig in quite a few different places, up the canyon, paved roads, dirt roads, gravel roads, and it does handle pretty well. But it does struggle a bit with loose sand, loose snow, you know, kind of just like any bike would. Remember, this is definitely not a wheelchair and doesn't have the fine tuning or precision that you would normally find in a medical device. It's definitely a bike, with all the quirks and maintenance that comes with all bikes. It's not beach ready and has no IP water resistance rating yet, but maybe at some point in the future. We have to leave some things to look forward to with uh, version 2 whenever that comes out. We teamed up with the largest trike manufacturer in the United States, Utah Trikes, to uh, build this contraption. And since we use bike parts for most of the construction, replacement parts and tools are easy to find, and can be purchased all over the internet or from local bike shops. So Cambry did want this thing to be super fast, but uh, for her safety, I've limited it to 12 miles an hour. You may be curious where you can take this rig, and according to the American Disability Act, or the ADA, other power-driven mobility devices are allowed to go in all areas where members of the public are allowed to go, which is basically everywhere. 
So if you are driving the rig and have a medically recognized physical impairment, you can basically go anywhere as long as it's safe. If you want to buy one of these and you don't have a physical impairment, you can still ride it, of course, but there may be more restrictions as to where you can go. So you might be asking yourself, hey, Jerry, how does Cambry get in and out of the chair? And it's actually pretty easy. Down here at the bottom, there's a little latch that I can unclip. And the handle tilts totally backwards. Cambry can grab her chair, undo her feet from the little Velcro things. Pull my legs over the wheels. And then, voila, I'm in the chair. Remember, this is not a medical device. It's a modified electric bike that just happens to be more accessible. The throttle's taken from an electric bike, the motor's taken from an electric bike, even the batteries are taken from an electric bike. You might be thinking as well that off-road wheelchairs are super expensive, and you're right. Normal off-road wheelchairs can cost anywhere from ten dollars to $20,000. This, not a wheelchair, only costs $4,750 which is half the price and twice the specs of a normal off-road wheelchair. We do have a totally stock version that's $1,000 cheaper, but it doesn't have the drop-down handles suspension and it just comes in black. We are ready to start manufacturing these right now. I will leave a link down in the video description. There's no Kickstarter or anything. Or you can just go to notawheelchair.com and we'll start shipping in September 2020. All right, Cambry, I think that's it. Anything else we should mention? Yeah, if you want to help out with this project, you can go to our website where there's a donation page and you can donate any amount you want to help us get these to more people that can use them. And come hang out with us on Instagram at Not A Wheelchair. We'll be sharing our own adventures as well as the adventures of other people who have these contraptions. You know, the most important thing is to be safe, use the buddy system, wear a helmet, but have fun. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you around.